Flow Money of Flow Money Entertainment. Tell everybody a little bit about you and um, what you got going on and who you are. Ooh, it's a lot. <laughs> uh, first thing first, um, I, my government name is Angel, Andrew Dominique Lee, but my stage name is Flow Money. Um, I'm also a dancer and I go by the name Prince Candidates, New Age Dom. Um, the way I started my music play, which is Flow Money Music Entertainment, LLC, is um, because I was trying to be an artist so hard and so bad and I wasn't getting no play. I wasn't getting nobody to really, really help me out like I really needed it. So I said, okay, all that pain pushed me to become a CEO of my own label, um, have my own artist, be my own graphic designer, a radio DJ, all that, and then some. So uh, about me, I am Jamaican mixed with Korean. Um, you can kind of tell, uh, let's just look at my eyes. My last name is Lee, so that's the Korean part of me. Um, let me see what else. I'm from New Jersey. I'm actually 31. I was born on Christmas Eve, so I'm a Capricorn. And uh, so that's December 24th, born 1988. Uh, I was raised in the foster care system. Um, and now I am who I am today. I have graduated from two schools, uh, Ashworth and as well as the Q Foundation. Um, let me see. So that means I have a GED and a high school diploma. I'm currently going to school at uh, U of H, which is uh, University of Houston here in Houston, Texas. I'm located in Houston, Texas. I was actually born in New Jersey, but I was raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. Uh, I think that's everything. What made you um, want to go into the music industry? Whew. Okay, what made me go into the music industry was my mom. Uh, my mom was a singer and my dad was an actual DJ, so it's in my blood. Um, I've always liked music. Um, I started off in gospel. I started doing holy hip hop, which is gospel rap first. Um, I met a woman by the name of Tawana Ross, who was under bedrock gospel, and she showed me the ropes at the age of 16. Um, I don't know, music always been, been in my blood. My first instrument I ever had, I was real little, uh, my father bought me some bongos, really, really small bongos, and ever since I've been playing instruments, so I do play five instruments. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't know, I mean, it's just, it's just in me, it's just in me, and I, I love it. it. It brings some hurt and pain, but I mean, when it's a passion, you can get past it, and then, you know, it, it makes your skin thicker. As, a, as an artist, as, as just as a person in general. So how did you kind of like weed out what you wanted to do? Like you said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting the attention I need as an artist. I'm going to go ahead and make beats so people can appreciate my music. Like how did you weed those two out? Well, I don't say I, was, I, we, I have weeded them out. Um, I am a music producer under... Um, my brand is Gorilla Style Beats, um, and uh, I don't think I weed them out. What I did was I found what made me money. Um, mm -hmm. From the information you gave me as a business person, uh, you was like, okay, well, if the rapping don't do it, find something that generates funds, which would be merch, which is merchandise, things of that nature. So what I started doing, I say, well, shoot, so my rapping probably ain't doing it. Maybe if I make some beats, that will do it. So I still rap. And I do beats, so I do I do them both. Okay, um, who are some of your influencers? Um, you know that you kind of looked up um, at, you know, growing up, saying, you know, when I grow up, I want to be like that person. Or who are some of the people that you listen to, you know, um, growing up? <laughs> wow. Um, well, I'll start off with um, for me personally, Missy Elliott was my number one. I'll say the reason why I was Missy Elliott is because when I was growing up, I actually looked like her. I was chunky and all that. I had finger waves. I wore baggy clothes, but I was still feminine. Um, I didn't know I could rap until a dude challenged me in ninth grade. That's being so honest. He just come up to me and say, man, I heard you can rap. You can't rap. And so I look out of the blue. I say, man, back up off me. And then I just start spitting. I don't even know that ever since it's just been on from there. I've been rapping, just freestyling, doing freestyle battles in school and high school. So it'll be Missy Elliott, as well as, um, who's that, who's that? Missy Elliott, um, also like Lauren Hill, so I'm a mixture of them two. Um, I do play, uh, I started doing acoustic guitar and that, I got that from Lauren Hill, as well as India Ari. Um, so I do sing as well, I don't just rap, I also sing. 
but a lot of my music I have rap in it. Um, trying to think my other influence. Oh, Whitney Houston, R.I.P. to her. Um, that's how I started my singing. My mother raised me on Whitney Houston and Yolanda Adams. And uh, she would sit in a chair and she would have a switch in one hand and a cigarette in the other. If you ain't hit that note, you get a whack. So she taught me how to sing from my mother is also my inspiration as well. Oh, and my, my boo thing. Yeah. Cause she believed in me and stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That always makes a difference. Um, if you could work with anybody in the industry, who would it be? <laughs> I got myself a long list. I probably would cry if I ever meet them. Okay. Um, like I said, Missy Elliott. Um, oh my God. I, I would just cry if I would ever be able to work for her. Oh my God. Um, I definitely want to work with Cardi B. Definitely. Not just because she's the hottest thing. It's because she has an intellect as well. She's not just thug. She has a mind. She's actually, she got a mind up there. She ain't just ghetto, you know. Um, and she's very talented. So it'll be Missy Elliott. Oh, I cannot forget Erica Badu. Oh, oh my, my God. Okay. I would love to watch the dude and Missy Elliott. I mean, I have such a long list. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're definitely glad to have you here on um, Bread Magazine today. Um, the last question, um, what does it mean to you to be real every day and deliver? What does it mean to me to be real every day and yeah. deliver? Hmm. It means truth. If you can be, if you can be real yourself every day and deliver that, that's a whole lot in that one little statement. I mean, I can pull so much out of that. I mean, truth is the first thing. If you got truth, that's what it means to me. To be real is to be true to yourself. And to deliver is to be true to yourself. You want to do something greater than what you did yesterday or the day before that. You always, you're you always your own competition. And that's what makes you a great artist, a great person in general. Okay, well, we're definitely glad to have you here on Bread uh, Magazine. We're wrapping up our interview. Um, you could go ahead and give your shout outs and um, tell everybody where they could find you on um, all social media platforms um, in case they're interested in getting any beats or interested in booking you to dance or getting you to be on the track. So um, give your shout outs and tell everybody um, where they can find you on social media. Okay, well, y'all can find me on social media. Uh, I do music first, I do dance second. Social media, you can find me on Facebook, Flow Money Music Entertainment. Shortcut is FMME32. You can find me on Twitter, Flow Money Music Entertainment as well. You can also find me on another Twitter I have called Producer Flow Money. Um, you can find me on Reverb Nation, because my music is on there, uh, Flow Money. Just type in Flow Money. Uh, you can find me on SoundCloud. You can type in just Flow Money. Uh, let me see where else. <clears throat> I have a Spotify as well. You can find me on Flow Money. Um, let me see where else. As far as my dancing, you can find me on Instagram under the Prince Scandalous, um, as well as on Facebook under the Prince Scandalous. Also, we have a website. It's uh, PrinceScandalous.com. Check me out on there. Music Entertainment Poetic Gifts. So it's abbreviated F M M E dash poetic gifts that's the online store you can also check out our website flow money music entertainment.com um whew, i'm trying to think what else uh the radio station uh raw talk fmme radio you can find it on radiojar.com as well as on radio king um i think that's on my social media sites yeah put my oh you can find me on city of doms for my dancing uh, just type in City of Doms and you'll see me on there. I'm also with a, a group called Queens and Princess Entertainment. Um, it's a new dance group that I'm a part of. And so they're out there in Atlanta. City of Doms is located 
in Atlanta, New York, and Miami. Uh, it's time to go on tour, things of that nature. So that's where y'all can check me out at bstars.com. And also check out my beats on soundcloud.com slash producer flow money. Oh, shout outs okay, to. We're definitely uh, glad that. Huh? Perfect legacy. Oh, you want me to wait for my shout out? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're definitely glad that um, you was on this interview today. And um, I'll be getting in touch with you in the next couple of days or so. Whenever this link upload on um, YouTube and whenever we um, finally upload it on Roku and Comcast, um, especially on YouTube, I'll make sure that you, um, you know, like get the link for your own um, personal records. And hopefully in the month or so, you know, Flow Money will be in the actual physical magazine of Bread Magazine. So um, yeah, yeah. we will talk. So we definitely enjoyed your interview. I hope to talk to you soon. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay.